Welcome back. Today I am on my own, so I'm out kicking tires at Paris RV in Payson, Utah, and I've came across this new Columbus 329 DV. And Columbus has been really impressing me with some of their new designs and floor plans and stuff like that. It seems like they have really stepped up their game in the last few years, and this trailer is following right along with that. So I'm going to go ahead, start at the front, and let's check out this Columbus 329 DV. Now this Columbus 329V is not the highest end fifth wheel you can get. I would say it's kind of that middle road area. I think that this has a lot of the features that a lot of weekenders, but even maybe people that are looking to go for extended periods are looking for, especially with the price tag, that even though it's expensive, comparative to others, it's fairly cheap. Right up front, they have their Moride hitch, and this pin box is rated at 24,000 pounds. Maximum pin weight of 6,000 pounds. These are super nice hitches. Moride does such a good job. Down underneath here, huge storage area. You have all your leveling system stuff there for your hydraulic leveling. Really like that it's hydraulic. I'm guessing that this could come with a generator prep, but this is not. It is just a huge storage area. It would be nice to see some sort of shelving or something. They do have this little shelf here with your exterior water hose there, but it'd be nice to see something to help with storage here because this could be such a useful storage area. Coming down the driver's side, you have two slide outs. I really like that this has the electric slide out. It's not cable or Schwintech. Super nice. This is the type of slide that we have on our fifth wheel that's 20 years old and still working great. Let's look at the weights here. As I come around the side, I'm gonna look at the numbers. The dry weight for this trailer, 12,434 pounds. Not too bad. Uh, you could probably tow this easily with their dually, but maybe even if your truck set up as a one ton single rear wheel, it might work. Now she is a little bit long, even though the name says 32, it's 37 feet, six inches. So she's a long girl. And your payload is 2,469. So even though this is kind of a mid-level trailer, fairly heavy and fairly long. With any of these mid-level trailers, you're going to give up some things. So as we come around the side here, let's open up this. You have your propane. You can notice that these doors are fairly thin. Not big thick doors like you'd find on a mobile suite or some of the others. You do have propane on both sides, so that's kind of nice. Here you have your big storage area. Wow, nice big door. I really like that the door swings to the side and not up with your wet bay just built in right here. And a big storage area. Wow, lots of room. Now this is pretty surprising. Right here you have a Moride core drill. This is a powered core drill. You don't see that very often on these mid-level units. And then right here you have your electronic leveling. I don't like it being right here. You're back here pushing buttons trying to get hooked on your trailer and you can't see your truck's hitch up there, especially with this big door here. I don't know why they would put it right here where you can't see it. I wish it was up in the propane area or on the side of the trailer like others do. Uh, just one of those things that I don't think whoever designed it has ever hooked on a trailer. I do like the slam latches though. Coming down the side, you do have six point auto level hydraulic. You have your sewer drain right there in the center, which is nice that it's not all the way at the back. A lot of times on the trailers in this kind of price category, tires is where they cut some of that cost. And these West Lakes, I mean, they're all right, but I would have much rather seen a Saloon or a Goodyear or something like that. They are a low range G and they are on a 16 inch wheel, but so even though I'm not the biggest fan of the tires, they do have the Moride independent suspension, which I really like. On this driver's side, you do have this big living room slide out. It is on a rack and pinion slide, which I really like. Right back here, you have your power outlet.
You do not have an end cap, and that's something you'll see on these mid-range trailers quite a bit. You're just going to have this flat wall. Uh, it is pre-wired for a backup camera. And let's hop up top and see what's up there for air conditioners. I am a little bit surprised now that I hop up here. You have three air conditioners. I figured it'd have two and you're pre-wired for solar. That is huge on a unit in this price range. That is really cool. Yet again, how Columbus is stepping up uh, and putting some more into their products. Coming down the driver's side, <laughs> it is wedged in here. You do have an awning up on your slide out and some nice big windows coming down the slide. They do have a, a propane quick connect on the side, but I don't know why they did this. They put it underneath the slide. They could have moved it back three feet and had it right here. But now you have to crawl under your slide. That just doesn't make any sense. Some, I'm sure it's some engineer somewhere that thought, oh, that's a great idea. This 329 DV does have the Asdell sidewalls, so they do work a little bit better than the old traditional fiberglass. And then let's check out the storage area here. I do like that it's magnetic. Most trailers just have the magnet built into the sidewall and into the door. So that way it's kind of a seamless look instead of these two kind of chintzy looking ones. But huge storage area down here. Really nice. Wow. Other than then, the magnets, the storage door, nice and thick, good slam latches, tons of storage area. Really like that. Now let's go inside and see what it's like. Coming up in the kitchen, I really like the color scheme with the whites and the light browns. Really cool. It's nice to see that, that transition. Really cool coffee, breakfast nook over here. You have this great storage right here. What Kara would be the most excited about, a pantry. And if you notice, they put the little cable here, so that way your pantry door doesn't hit into your fridge. Really nice. You do have this Norcold fridge, and this is like residential style. It's huge. So full drawer, wow. you could pack food forever in that. I really like the handles on this Norcold. You can make sure that it latches. I like it. I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks on me, but it almost feels like there's more room between this kitchen slide out and the island than some of the other trailers I've been in. It's still just a one bum kitchen, but it feels like it has a little bit more room. I don't know if they moved the island over or what, or maybe it's the exact same and I'm just seeing things. I don't know. This center island is done so nicely. I really like these drying rack um, grates because you don't have to have that big, heavy, solid surface here. It, it does everything it needs to, but it's so easy to get them out of the way. And then it has this nice, big stainless steel sink. As I was saying, Columbus seems to have just stepped up on so many things over the last few years. On your passenger slide out, you do have your dinette with two chairs, and I'm sure there's two up under the bed. It does expand so you can fit four people. Really nice. Of course, you got your two recliners, must have. Your theater seating. And directly across, you have your entertainment center with your fireplace. And I like how they've done this faux brick. Like this white painted faux brick is really cool. Kind of reminds me of what you'd see in an older home that's been refurbished. I like it. And then you have your full size couch and it does turn into a bed. It is amazing how bright it is in this trailer with all these windows. It makes it so much nicer to have these big bright windows. These things are huge. Now I'm gonna go show you the bathroom, which is really cool. Uh, not a lot of bathrooms are this nice in fifth wheels. Starting out, it comes with his and her sinks. Really nice. Tons of storage. Big vanity. You got side storage for towels, all that sort of stuff. Underneath, even some drawers. 
with soft clothes. Really cool. Of course, you got a porcelain toilet here with lots of room. But check out the shower. That is huge. So many campers have such small bathrooms. And this shower is huge. Really nice. Even has your little bench so you could sit, you know, if you needed to. And tons of room. I'm 5'10", and I have plenty of room. It is rare that you see this size of a shower in a fifth wheel, motor home, travel trailer, or anything. Coming up in the bedroom, you do have this barn door. Pretty dang nice. I like that. That way you don't have a door swinging and taking up room. Really compact, and it just has this little lock here. So when you're moving or whatever, you just lock it in place. The master bedroom in this unit is pretty dang cool. Nice king size bed. You do have these little shelves right here. I think that's probably able to fit a CPAP or something. And you have a little bit of a shelf here that you could put a glass of water or something like that. The headboard is just a frame, kind of a little metal frame. Interesting. Directional reading lights. You have this huge closet right here, tons of storage. You have these three doors that slide to the side. And right here, you have another closet that's also washer dryer prepped. Really good amount of storage up in this bedroom. Four drawer chest of drawers, soft clothes as well. Now I know earlier I said this was kind of a mid-level trailer. And when you hear the price tag, you're gonna be like, what? The MSRP on this trailer is crazy. 115,423, but that's just the MSRP. Paris has it marked down to 79,995. And I know that doesn't sound like mid-level trailer prices, but that's the world we live in today. So $79,995, $80,000. And it's a really cool trailer. And compared to a lot of trailers in the same kind of ballpark, it has a lot going for it. If you're interested in this Columbus, check out Paris RV. We'll put a link down below, all that sort of stuff. Comment below, what do you think of the trailer? Is there things that you liked, things that you didn't, things that you saw that maybe I didn't point out, all that sort of stuff, because I always miss something. And as always, enjoy your weekend.